What's poppin' guys, gals, and you sick freaks in between? I'm your boy Shotgun Jimbo. You may have heard of that animal rights activist group, PETA. If you haven't, I'm about to explain to you what they do and who they are. Just stick around until the end of this video. So who is PETA? First, let me tackle the obvious and overused joke. No, I'm not talking about the dude from the Hunger Games. <sighs> okay, good. Now that I got that out of the way, we could begin. PETA is a non-profit animal rights organization. Their name stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Later on in the video, you're gonna find out why there's nothing ethical about them. PETA started up on March 22, 1980 by animal rights activists Alex Pacheco and Ingrid Newkirk. I probably butchered those names a tiny bit, but uh, whatever. Now, as an animal rights organization, you would think their message would be good, and they're trying to benefit the environment, right? Well, not exactly. You see, PETA claims they protect animals and stand for animal rights. But the thing is, PETA has a terrible history with animals. They claim they're doing the right thing. But that's what all evil groups think. Just take a look at the Nazis. So what bad things could PETA possibly do? This topic comes up every time someone talks about PETA, but it really reflects on them. For starters, euthanasia. What is euthanasia, you may ask? Well, for humans, it's basically assisted suicide. For example, if someone is basically struggling to live and they're in pain and they don't want to live anymore, or they're badly crippled and possibly brain dead, you would euthanize them. The same thing goes with animals, except animals, they get euthanized if they're possibly even old without any health problems. So now you know what euthanasia is, and I could tell you PETA's dirty secrets. PETA is like that one child who does the stupidest shit just to get attention. That kid reads one news article about animal rights and decides to start an organization to protect animals, only to be irresponsible and kill them. PETA activists kidnap people's animals and kills them. PETA claims they were sick and dying and they had no choice. But the truth is, the animals were perfectly healthy. There's so many incidents of this happening. Let me name a few for y'all. On one occasion, PETA was caught luring a man's dog from his doorstep into the back of a van. They later euthanized the dog. For an apology, PETA sent the man a fruit basket and a sorry note. This program is brought to you by Fruit Bouquets. Got a birthday coming up for someone you absolutely hate? Why not tell them to go screw themselves by sending a giant fruit bouquet? With just a few clicks, you'll be able to send someone 14 pounds of unwanted decorative produce that will go bad within an hour of arrival. Hungry for a strangely warm strawberry? How about a hard green wedge or a slime glazed melon ball? Well, we have all these gross things. Order now and make someone feel guilty about throwing it straight into the trash six hours later. Fruit bouquets, the rotting gift with flies on it. On a separate occasion, PETA members went to a trailer park to pick up wild, emphasis on wild animals. You can see where this is going. The PETA members picked up a supposed unattended chihuahua, brought the dog back to PETA HQ, or wherever the hell PETA goes to kill animals, and they put the chihuahua down that very day. Keep in mind that the chihuahua was perfectly fine and healthy. To top it all off, the, ch the chihuahua was a Christmas gift for a nine-year-old girl. Also, the fact that they killed the dog the same day they picked it up was illegal. You have to wait at least five days in most states and provinces. So the members were fined for the early death, plus PETA had to pay the family who owned the dog $50,000 because they sued PETA. I can't forget to mention that two members were found dumping bodies of dead dogs in a dumpster, and instead of commenting about it, PETA were pussies and didn't say shit. One thing that I want to point out 
is that PETA's logic is absolutely retarded. You see, a lot of PETA's campaigns are revolved around getting people to turn vegan. PETA's goal is to eventually turn the whole population into vegans, which is absolutely fucking stupid because PETA also complains about animal overpopulation. There won't be any type of balance if everybody switches to vegan. There's probably gonna be some sort of animal uprising for God's sake. Another thing that makes PETA look like fucking clowns is the fact that they're protesting to free fish out of a museum in, get this, fucking Animal Crossing. What is the point? PETA isn't raising awareness for a real world event and it's not supposed to be symbolizing something that's happening in real life. They're literally trying to get Blathers to empty out the fake fish that he has in his museum into a fake ocean. We can't forget to talk about PETA's terrible advertising. All the way from straight up porn to practically making fun of the Holocaust. Just everything about PETA is, in general is terrible. PETA is a fucking disgrace to animals, people, and animal rights activists. Let's talk about the number of fake facts and bullshit PETA makes up. For example, they claim that milk causes autism, and there are multiple studies confirming milk makes you fucking autistic, but in reality, there have been many pieces of research and reports proving milk does not give you autism. One other fake fact they're spreading is that chicken causes children's dick to be small, but once again, there's proof that chicken does not do such thing. So why is PETA like this? Why are they killing healthy animals? Well, for starters, I think they're pretty damn lazy, and I don't think they want to help animals find proper homes. But in reality, they don't like people having pets, and they don't support animal companions. In short, PETA is literally Team Plasma from Pokemon. They stand for the exact same thing, and they're both tackling the situation terribly. There's so much more to talk about. I will of course link everything in the description, so check that out if you want. I also want to shout out my buddy. He goes by the name Artist from Nam on Discord. He helped me do some research and write a little bit of the script. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Goodbye and I'll see y'all in the afterlife. Peace.